Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use a cross-tab query to analyze your data. The table I want to use is the customers table, if I open that one. What I want is a list of companies and a count of staff that live in these cities. So if I close this down and I'll start the process. You need to start on the create tab and it is in the query wizard this time. And you can see there, second one down is cross tab query, clicking OK to that. It will then show you all your tables, queries, or both. I'm going to focus on the table for this one. And there's customers. So I'm selecting that table, following it through next. So I want a list of companies down the left hand side, down here. So I'll take that across. So it gives me the companies. You don't actually see the companies yet. Next. Then I want to see the cities across the top, like Leeds, Bradford, et cetera, et cetera. And then next. And then I want it to count the, the customer ID. So count. So it's going to give me a number in this column here. Follow it through. Give it a name. So it's got cross tab there, but I'm just going to go um, QRY company count. I'll do and then I'm going to finish and then it'll drop that information in you get your list of companies and then you get the total column there and then you've got each city with the breakdown of how many members of staff per company are in that city and that's all it is to create a simple cross tab query you just follow the wizard through you might not get it right the first time so you can run it again until you get it looking how you want it to, to be so I'll do a second cross tab query to calculate how much companies have spent. So again, I'm going to the wizard. I'm selecting cross tab. Okay. And this time I'm going to pick a query. So we've got lots of queries. And one of these is sales details. This one, the bottom one. Picking next. So I want a list of companies. Company. I'll double click that, take it across. That will list the companies. Next. I want the products, which is like the courses, next. And then I want to do sales value. And then I want the sum function. So that's going to give me a list of the companies. It's going to say Excel access, etc. across the top. And then the amount that each of these companies has, has spent. Go next. And then I'll just change this label to company QRY company spend company spend like that finish let's see what that looks like so that gives you the total spend in that column per company and this will grow as you add it as, as you get extra spend and you can see what they've bought word being the most popular course like so so I'll close that one and that will grow like I said as the different companies buy different products. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use cross-tab queries to analyze your data. So thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.